Hi, this is Ryan Dawes, editor of IoT News, and today we're taking a look at the Ring Video Doorbell 2. So if you remember our review of the original video doorbell, then you will remember that we were very impressed with the video quality and the audio quality of the device. You can see here that it has had a fair bit of use. Now, what we were a little bit disappointed about was the battery life on the device. It was rated to be around six months, but we ended up replacing it about every three months. And because of the battery was integrated, it was a little bit difficult to do and a little bit frustrating having to pull the whole device off whenever you wanted to recharge it. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on how many alerts and stuff you have both set up in the settings of the app and of course how busy your street is. So if we switch to the video doorbell 2, which we have here, straight away, don't worry, this, this is deliberately coming loose because it has uh, various faceplates which you can pop over the front. So this is the silver one, very much like the original if you liked that design, but it also has a black version here if you prefer it to sort of more fit in and blend into your home. I actually thought I would prefer the silver looking at it online, but actually in person I do prefer the black. Now the changes with the device, first off the big one is that a battery pack is removable, so you don't have to take the whole unit off whenever you want to remove it. You simply lift that up and pop the battery pack out. So that is a very nice and welcome feature. The other is an upgrade to a full HD 1080p camera on the front, whereas the previous one was 720p. So we're expecting a big bump up in quality from that. So another useful feature is that if you have the Ring Video Doorbell 1, Ring actually provide a faceplate a mounting plate, sorry, to put over the original one so you don't have to drill any more holes into your building. More welcome additions, and one which would, I would have personally found very useful, is extra mounting plates to go over the top to alter the angle of the Ring Video Doorbell. So ours was pointing a bit too straight out into the street and could have done with facing downwards a little bit. So this faceplate, in theory, should do that. And then hopefully we can get the motion alerts working a bit more accurately. Now, as we noted in the, our original review, you will probably want one of these, which is a chime. Uh, this can be placed anywhere around your home and it gets plugged straight into the mains adapter and can alert you wherever you've placed it in your home whenever anyone presses the doorbell. Most of us probably have our smartphones on us to alert us at, any, at all times anyway, but it's nice to have just in case. Now, with, alongside the Ring Video Doorbell 2, Ring have actually released an upgraded version which is this beauty. Now this actually acts as a Wi-Fi extender. Now our Ring Video Doorbell is quite far from our router. So we actually have ours attached to quite a high-end Netgear uh, Wi-Fi extender. This one is a little bit more compact and so maybe have a bit of concerns about what, how well it will actually boost the signal, but we're gonna give that a go and see whether it works out. So after setting up the Ring Video Doorbell 2 and having a play around with it, it's clear that where Ring revolutionized the doorbell, the Ring Video Doorbell 2 has revolutionized the Ring Video Doorbell. This is more than just a typical iterative upgrade, despite what it seems on the paper. So the uh, camera quality jump from 720p to 1080p is a big enough upgrade alone and would be enough for most people. But the new removable battery in the new model is much better than having to keep taking this on and off, which was a big deal breaker for me, especially when I found that the battery quality ended up lasting about three months rather than the six to 12, which in my opinion was overstated by Ring. The, we haven't had long enough to test the full battery life of the Ring Video Doorbell 2, but so far from my experience, it seems to be going, the battery percentage seems to be going down a lot slower. So it's looking promising on that front. Now, the only thing I can't recommend is this new Chime Pro. So, on my normal Wi-Fi extender, granted it's quite a high-end Netgear Nighthawk uh, Wi-Fi extender, the Ring Video Doorbell picked up fine, worked perfectly fine. I switched over to this network and it was instantly giving me poor network quality uh, notifications, even though it's not actually that much of a distance. So, I can't fully recommend this. And if we're being nitpicky, the design is just a little bit off as well. You can see the where the UK adapter uh, is on this version. It just juts over a little bit. So if you've kind of got this on a mains uh, somewhere quite prominent, then it 
for the design conscious, uh, it is just a little bit off. Whereas the normal model, it's all perfectly sleek and you can't even see the adapter once it's plugged into the wall. So that's a review of our, the Ring Video Doorbell 2. I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe if you did and don't forget to head over to IoT News for all your latest news in the IoT world. I've been Ryan Dawes and thanks for watching.